Especially after this one. Okay. I, I thought I was going to go. I, I still have, I figured up a, at least one more year of eligibility of NAI basketball, and I thought I was going to get a chance to play tonight. Well, did for us, well, that's the well, they would have had to been up a lot more to put you in the game. <laughs> Well, how about that for respect? Well, huh? there you go. <laughs> Sorry about our post-game comments tonight. <laughs> Coach Mike White. That is that, that, is that interview. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Brought to you by First Choice Personnel. Congratulations on the win. Did you get done what you wanted to do tonight? I thought we handled it the right way. I was proud of our guys. 30 assists. We really shared the ball. We didn't take one bad shot the whole time. No one was hunting for their own shot. The guys were trying to get their students involved. Heck, we made the extra pass probably a few too many times. We weren't aggressive enough. Um, interior production was a big key for us to so try to get one in that category, which we have all year. And I thought we took advantage of that. I thought all four of the post guys that we played got the ball inside. The guards did a pretty good job getting it to them. So in those categories, I thought we improved a little bit. I thought our post action after it went into the post was pretty good, cutting hard, getting the offensive glass. And then defensively, uh, we, let, uh, we let 32, who's actually shooting a really good run. But other than that, I thought the first team was doing pretty well. We played with some maturity on that end. Can you recruit number 32? You know what, I asked their coach after the game, does he have another year left? He said, unfortunately, he's a senior. I said, I was going to try to poach him, try to steal him from him. He's a good player. He is. He, he's got a nice little stroke. Yeah, he, he really does. Big body kid. Yeah. Got a quick release. And, you know, Gilbert Talbert, uh, Jack mentioned, he said, well, Gibby's going into the game. We'll see how quick he scores. Only took him about 15 seconds. He is so offensive-minded, it's unreal. He's, he's so quick to the ball. He's got a really quick upper body, quick hand. And when he's got the ball snatched, he's quick to the rim. You know, he's uh, he's got closing speed on the rim. And as we talked about all year, he produces. Whenever he's between the lines, he's going to score it, and he's going to rebound it. And he's working on the other end of the floor, and he's getting better. You know, you mentioned about being unselfish, and we talked about that uh, several times during the calculation of the broadcast. But when you play against a team that you know you're going to beat, and your players know that, mm -hmm. you have a tendency sometimes to go at it. Everybody wants to score and get big nights. That's right. So it's a credit to you guys and your staff to get that mentality into the players that if they got to continue to share the ball and play together and not just go out and be the high scorer tonight because they think you can. I thought it was led by our, our starting point guard, B. Smith, who gets another 10 assists from zero turnover. Doesn't try to make anything happen that wasn't there. Um, he just wants to get guys shot. Uh, Brandon Gibson comes in off the bench as a senior. Could have let it fly anytime he wanted. He's passing down good ones to get his teammates great ones. Alex Hamilton comes off the bench, gets 10 assists. Just an unselfish group on and off the floor. As we've talked about all year, they enjoy each other's company. They like playing with each other. I think we saw that tonight. And another, you talk about enjoying. When J.D. Wilkerson, when J.D. hit that three-pointer, we looked over the bench and they just exploded off that bench. They love J.D. and J.D. like them, he works, he brings it every day. He's a lot of his, a lot is demanded of him. And even more at times, as we talk about with him and Demario or walk-ons, because we throw them into, into the, the big guy drills a bunch, and, and we ask them to front the post and wrestle with JL and Isaiah Massey. So those guys, uh, they bring a lot to our program in a lot of ways. So uh, I was happy that our guys were that happy to see them do it. You know, the only thing I was disappointed in tonight, I know JL.